So today we're going to be doing a video on Far Cry 3 with the Steam Deck and we're going to start it off at 800p at the lowest settings. So going into the options, video and playing at 800p. And for video quality, we're going to be starting it off at the lowest settings. There we go with that. Let's jump into it and see what we can get. Alright, there we go. In the game, that was pretty fast. This is a PS3 game slash Xbox 360 game, so it should run quite well on the Steam Deck. These older titles normally run really nicely. Instead of a town where it's going to be CPU bottlenecked, we're going to be sitting at 90 FPS down into the high 60s, which is fine. Alright, fast traveling to the doctor's house, and we can go ahead and use the hang glider. I can find my way out of here. There we go. And let's take the hang glider, which is right over here. I'm getting stuck on literally everything. Hey, get him away. Go ahead and run to it. I'm going to be sitting in the 100s. Pretty fantastic stuff. CPU is pulling around 10 watts of power. GPU is pulling around 4, which makes sense because you're playing at the lowest settings. Now flying down, close to the ground. Sitting in the 110s pretty much on average, which is fantastic. Game's not stuttering, it's not lagging. It's running beautifully. Alright, we've got a fight going on here with some pirates. Let's go ahead and shoot these guys up. There we go. Game feels very responsive and we get aim assist as well on the controllers, which is perfect. It makes it very easy to play this game. But yeah, so far at the low settings, the game looks kind of ugly at times, but overall looks pretty nice on the small screen of the Steam Deck. And FPS wise, we're going to be sitting in the high 60s up into the 110s, depending on where we are. In those more CPU dependent areas like the towns, your FPS will fall down into the 60s, but in general, outside of the towns, we're going to be sitting pretty much in the 70s and 80s on average. Okay, let's push it up to the medium settings and run it back one more time and see what we can get. Alright, here's one issue that I found with this game so far. Um, occasionally when you pause the game, it will try to reconnect to the servers which are down So you're just wasting time every time you go to the settings for your skills and crafting which is kind of annoying Alright, I found a second issue as well with this game Each and every time you open it up, it will ask you for your password, your Ubisoft password Which if you have a longer one, it will become very annoying to put in each and every time So, I'm not sure if there's a way around that, but for me, it's getting pretty annoying Alright, back in the town, at the medium settings, let's go ahead and drop into it first Going to options Video quality, this is the medium preset. Looking good. And let's hop back in. Alright, we're gonna be falling down to the 50s in the town, which is not good. It's using up pretty much one core of the CPU, as you can see. One goes to 100%, 90%, and the rest just sit at 40%, which is kind of bad. Alright, flying felt fine. We were sitting pretty much in the 70s and 80s, which is perfect. And on foot, we're gonna be sitting in the mid to high 80s. Looking over the map, we're going to be falling down to the 70s. I got some pirates here. Let's go and stop them real quick. Alright, come on now. Stop your car. Where are you going? <laughs> I don't want to fight. Hey! Alright, here we go with the high settings. Looking good. And let's get out of the town. Alright, going outside, we're going to be falling down to the 40s. We lost another like 10 FPS from what we had before. Can we hit the 60s at all? Getting very close to the 60s now, sitting in the high 50s. Oh, there we go. The game feels fine still, it's not stuttering or lagging. But it's pretty inconsistent with how the mouse or how the movement feels. So trying to aim at 40 FPS feels very different compared to 60 FPS. So at this point I would cap the FPS to either 40 or 30 to have a consistent experience. But I think once we leave the town, FPS should go back up into the 60s if I was going to guess. Yep, okay, going back up into the 60s now, almost the high 60s at times, which is perfect. Getting a weird glitch going on with that little pole there. But yeah, if you don't mind falling to the 40s occasionally in the towns, this is playable at the high settings at 60 FPS. Alright, going flying. Does the FPS fall below 60? Alright. So far, so good. Sitting in the 70s and 80s. We are falling down to the 60s now for a little bit, but still able to hold it. Alright, getting close to the low 60s now. Ooh, that was a very aggressive landing by me. Okay, not too bad. Again, you will fall into the 40s occasionally, but overall, should be a good 60 FPS experience. And finally, let's play the game at the ultra settings and try again. Alright, I lied, it wasn't the ultra settings, it was the very high settings. But here we are with that regardless. Looking good. Going outside, the game is stuttering quite a bit right now, but stabilizing at 40 FPS. We're using up 7 watts of power on the GPU and 4 watts of power on the CPU. Now leaving the town, let's get out of here. FPS goes up into the 50s, the low 50s, but again, trying to aim, honestly feels fine. If it was a stable experience, it will be a fine experience, but the game is stuttering quite a bit at this point, so trying to get a consistent frame rate will be kind of difficult. I think for the Steam Deck, the optimal settings is a mix of medium and high, or just the high settings in general, 
it looks good and runs well as well. Once you go past the high settings, the game is looking very similar, uh, but the FPS is far worse and the game is actually not as stable and it will be stuttering far more as well. Okay, let's go to optimize the settings and run it back one more time. Alright, for the optimized settings, we're going with a mix of medium and high settings. I've also gone ahead and unplugged the Steam Deck so we can see the battery life of the system as we go through. So far, we're pulling around 20 watts of power, which will last us around 2 hours of gameplay time, sitting at 60 FPS. But let's go ahead and go into the settings. So, going into options, video quality, again, it's a mix of medium and high. Okay, in the town, we're going to be sitting in the 60s, the low 60s, and occasionally falling into the 50s. But overall, a pretty great experience. There's no stuttering or lagging at all either. And the game looks fantastic at the high settings, or a mix of medium and high settings. And obviously leaving the town, FPS will go higher, into the 70s if I was going to guess. Yep, going up into the 70s now. So we have plenty of headroom outside, and we are pretty close to the limit inside, near the, I guess the towns. There we go. Looking pretty good. Alright, the Padro has gone up to 26 watts, so our battery life will fall down into an hour and a half of gameplay time instead of two hours. Which is not great, but if you're going to be plugged in, then go ahead and play the game at 60 FPS. The game will look great and will run amazing as well. Now if you want to get the best battery life, then go ahead and play the game at 40 FPS or 30 FPS. And the power draw will be a lot lower, so your battery life will increase. So let's go ahead and exit out and play at 40 FPS and see what we can get with that. Alright, playing the game at 40 FPS now, and as you can see, the game looks very smooth and plays very smooth as well. And battery life wise, when we're sitting at 3 hours of gameplay time, which is twice as much as 60 FPS. But if you plan on being plugged in at all times, then go ahead and play at 60 FPS and you'll be fine regardless as well. Alright, let's go and play the game in dock mode now and run it back at 1080p and see how it runs over there. Alright, now playing the game in dock mode, which is at 900p. I skipped 1080p because the FPS was falling down to the 40s and 30s, or like the low 40s and the high 30s, which isn't ideal. So at 900p with FSR enabled, the game looks fantastic still. And FPS wise, we're going to be sitting in the low 50s up into the high 50s, which is far better for a docked experience anyway. And in the town, we're going to be sitting in the low 50s and even the high 40s occasionally, which is not, I guess, ideal, but still very playable. If you want to get more FPS, then go ahead and lower the quality of the game to a mix of medium and low, I guess. And that should increase your FPS to 60 FPS most of the time. There we go. So your overall for document is going to be sitting in the 50s up into the 60s. It's a great experience overall. If you want the most stable, then go ahead and cap the FPS to 30 or 40. And you should have a good time playing this game overall. Oops, yeah, I just killed a civilian. Alright, I think that's about it. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys next time for the next video. See you guys then.